Happy Thursday, everybody. I just wanted to check in with you again and um, welcome you back to our channel. Uh, I just wanted to let you know we had a fabulous birthday yesterday. And today, being Thursday, I thought we'd kick off our thankful Thursday. And I wanted to share with you one of the things that I'm extremely thankful for. But before I do that, I wanted to um, give you a little background so you all understand why I'm so thankful for what I'm thankful for. Um, uh, most of you know I have a neurofibromatosis type 2 and that causes brain tumors um, on the nerves and uh, spinal tumors on the nerves and lots of other tumors but right now I have four brain tumors and five spinal tumors and those have left me completely deaf in both ears. With that said, I also work two jobs right now as a janitor so I'm on my feet all day long. And at the end of the day, I'm pretty dang tired. I'm not going to lie. So I kind of laugh at myself every day at the end of the day because um, when I get into my bed, the first thing I say is, God, thank you for my bed. Thank you for this bed. Because I'm so tired from my whole day, not just physically from the work, and anybody who works outside of the home or inside of the home or whatever, you know how tired you can get, especially you moms, you know. So at the end of the day, I climb into bed and I kind of chuckle at myself and I say, thank you God for this bed, this nice warm bed, because it just is the best at the end of a very long, hard day, especially for me, because I'm not only am I physically tired, but I'm mentally tired being deaf. Um, I haven't been deaf my whole life, so I work really, really hard to try to figure out what people are saying all day because I can't hear. So I'm not only physically tired, but I'm mentally tired. And I know, especially if you're a mom, you get the mentally tired what it means because it's not easy being a mom. And let me tell you, at the end of the day, when you can climb into a bed and just relax and unwind and not have to do one more thing, not fold one more piece of laundry, not take out the trash, not do any more dishes, not do nothing, anything at all, it is awesome. And so for today, I know it sounds silly, but I'm very, very, very thankful for my bed. Now, everybody might think that's kind of silly that, oh, why well, are you just thankful for your bed? But being that we live in Florida, I live in Florida, um, right now we had a major event happen recently, and that's um, Hurricane Matthew, most of you know. Um, uh, some of our um, uh, friends have been affected by that. Um, their family members are without power, without water. Um, and there's a whole lot of people in the state of Florida that are without homes now, um, because it wiped out entire neighborhoods. And so when I get into my bed, not only am I thankful for myself, but I know there are people that don't have a nice warm bed to climb into at night. And I, I know we, I always tell my kids, oh, there's kids in other countries that don't have, you should be thankful and grateful. And there are, there are children in other countries that climb into huts that don't have nice, warm, comfy beds to climb into. And I am extremely, extremely thankful for mine. And I, and I laughingly tell myself when I get into bed, thank you God for this bed. And so it's the little things, just the little things. And I think that if you start to live your life uh, grateful for the little things, the bigger things really just blow your mind. And so for today, we're going to start a thankful Thursday and I'm going to say thank you for my bed. So if you'd like to share with me some of the things that you're thankful for, please, please just comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I highly recommend it because we're just getting warmed up and I'm really excited about some of the cool stuff we're going to be doing. And I look forward to making new friends. So I just love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Sleep tight.